you and the heat is adding to the worries of a Kentwood family looking for a missing loved one. 59 year old Karen Sorensen, who you see here on your screen, walked away from her home Tuesday morning and hasn't been seen since. 13 on your side's Nathan Lee met with people who know her today and are hoping you can help bring her home. She's a, a friend, a mom, a wife, a co-worker. Um, she's an amazing person. On Tuesday, June 11th, Karen Sorensen left home and didn't come back. Three days later, we're still definitely hopeful. Friends and family are asking the community for help. We're doing it um, because we love her, and we're doing it because we would hope that everyone would do the same uh, if we were in this family's shoes. Dave Gill is a friend of the family who's been fronting most of the search efforts. On Thursday, he found footage of her last known location. Sorensen, seen here on a doorbell camera Tuesday, the day she left home, headed to Northeast Park. In her hands, a blue and white striped throw blanket and a red water bottle with stickers. Gill says getting the word out could help find her. Maybe they, can, they, they realize, oh, the blanket, yes, I saw a woman carrying a blanket. Gill says over the last three days, they've searched the park thoroughly and now believe that she left. If you're in the area, just check. She may have made it to other neighborhoods. And with the use of doorbell cameras around the area, one may have caught her leaving the park. Ask your friends, ask people around. And while it's a large area to cover, Gill says that with the help of the community, it might just be possible. There's going to be one small something that pops that we're going to find out um, where she is, and, and but we need everyone to be looking and everyone to help with that. And Nathan joins us now in the, news, in the newsroom. Nathan, what should people do if they do happen to find something? Yes, Julia. Well, Gil said that if anyone finds Sorison on a security camera, doorbell camera, or even if they think they see her out in public, they should call the Kentwood Police Department or Silent Observer. Now, that information, however small, could be crucial in finding her. Gil has also created a Facebook page to help grow awareness of Sorensen's disappearance. You can find a link to that and the numbers to call on our website, 13onyourside.com. All right, Nathan, thank you very much for that update.